Clean water is constantly supplied to our taps, but the methods used to make our water safe to drink are rarely considered. However, without these methods, our lives would be very different. The problem is, clean water isn't available everywhere. Development and understanding of different water purification methods is key to ensuring that everyone will soon be able to access clean water, which is vital for survival. In this video, I will explain a method called chemical disinfection and how it plays its part in tackling biological contamination. This is when water is contaminated by microorganisms such as germs, viruses or bacteria which are harmful to humans. Chemical disinfection works by adding chlorine bleach or chlorine tablets to the water. Chlorine is called a halogen element and is found in group 7 of the periodic table. Halogen elements, such as chlorine, are very frequently used in water disinfection because their chemical properties mean that they can break down the cell wall of a microbe, which then causes it to die. This means that chlorine will successfully kill all of the pathogens most commonly found in natural water. The major benefits to this method of disinfection are that it is quick, cheap and very effective in removing biological contamination. However, a major downside to this method is that using an incorrect ratio of chlorine to water can have serious health effects on the consumer. Too much chlorine can cause problems with the liver and heart, whereas not enough chlorine can leave the water insufficiently decontaminated. This means the volume of water being decontaminated needs to be known before it is treated chemically. In industry, chemical disinfection plays a very important role in producing clean water. It is a method which I believe is one of the most viable to be used abroad to ensure those in developing countries have access to clean drinking water. Many don't realise it, but chemical disinfection plays a very important part of our lives every single day.